Regarding the anomalous warming of planet Earth, by the way, it's still an oblate spheroid. I see a uh, YouTube user, Papa Smurf, an intelligent lad, I assume, but he has some very peculiar behavior. I wanted to address the issue of the sun causing the current global temperature anomaly. Papa Smurf has made a odd assertion under the pretense of asking a question. This is typical behavior of, oh, I don't know, Republican Party politicians. I kind of thought that Papa Smurf was beyond that. Quoting, How many joules did it take to melt the ice of the last great ice age, and what did humans do to create that? End of quote. You see where he has made a false assertion under the pretense of asking a question. By the way, if you really want to know, <sighs> the anomalous warming required to melt the ice in the last great ice age was approximately five or six watts per square meter over the current average total solar irradiance. And if you're wondering what the current anomalous human-caused warming is, it is <coughs> approximately three and a half watts. I need to also point out that of that three and a half watts approximately, um, about one and a half watts is being cooled by human activities. So we have approximately one and a half watts of warming overall. This means business as usual and if atmospheric carbon dioxide is not sequestered in the world's ocean we could very well avoid the next great glacial period. <sighs> to continue what Papa Smurf has asked, quote, Mammoth farts? It's a solar cycle retards. End of quote. I am just a simple sailor who keeps a singing, titty, quite young teenage mermaid in my refrigerator. But I do know at least two things. Number one, if it was the sun causing the current global temperature anomaly, that would be a horrible, horrible thing for all life on Earth. <clears throat> it is a good thing that we know it is not the sun. It is a good thing that we know it is caused by human activities and chiefly our production of greenhouse gases. If it was the sun, humanity would have to take drastic, draconian, fascist and brutal measures to adapt to the rising global average temperatures. Since we know it is not the sun, since we know that it is greenhouse gases that we are producing, that is good news. It means we don't have to only adapt. It means we can also mitigate against. That is, at least avoid the worst warming by not going as business as usual with our carbon dioxide production. Let's take a look at solar output over the past uh, few decades to 1750 and up to present. Let us see if it's the sun is true. This chart shows the number of sunspots since 1750 up to year 2014. We know that the number of sunspots increases as total solar irradiance increases. As you can see, there has been a slight increase. The question is, how many watts is that? The answer is approximately 0 0.08 watt per square meter. This is vastly smaller than the warming due to human activities, 
specifically and chiefly our carbon dioxide production and our methane production. And once again, this is actually a good thing. That is good news. That is not bad news. The bad news would be, it's the sun. I hope this finally puts to rest and nobody else ever on the internet or anywhere else on the planet ever once again says, it's the sun. Because that is just goddamn stupid to say. Uh -huh.